All right, in the last section, we built the first scene. For this section, we'll continue building the main part of the script. Let's go back to the script. And I'm going to quickly read the script. If you're a teacher and want to get into instructional design, there are three main actionable items that you can do right now. First is to revise your resume so that your keywords reflect the keywords used in instructional design. For example, words like subject matter expert, e-learning, and even LMS. Second, then we have lastly, and then there's a conclusion. You can see that there are three main items and we're going to somehow fit all three of these items onto the scene. I'm not going to try to hand illustrate and create something from scratch. I'm going to go back to freepick.com and search for some graphics for ideas and inspiration. This time I'm going to search for the term infographic and then three because we have three main items. If you had four, you would just put four. From here, it's a matter of spending the time to find something that you like that has three elements that we can use or replicate or try to use as inspiration. I can say this process can take a while. Just finding the right one after searching and searching can be tricky. There are a lot of good ones here, but because we haven't gone over editing vector files, we're going to try to find something that's very simple that we can try to replicate or just get inspiration from. Let's look at this one here. We'll do something similar. We'll use three icons. We'll do a heading text. We'll do subtext along with the title text. In a later section, I'll go over how to edit the vector files in Illustrator. For now, let's just use this as inspiration and leave out these little lines and just use the icons and text. Let's head over to flaticon.com and search for the word resume. Why are we searching for that, you say? Well, if we go back to the script and read this part here, it says first is to revise your resume so that your keywords reflect the keywords used in instructional design. For the first part, we're going to use a resume icon. So in flat icon, let's search for the word resume, scroll down and find a resume icon that, you know, that, that we like. All right, let's use this one here. Again, finding the right icon can take some time. Let's click this one. We're going to download it, download the PNG, save it to your directory, and let's import it into After Effects. I'm going to go to the, all right, downloads. Let's move the resume. After Effects, and let's import the resume into the images folder. Now let's place it into our composition. I'm gonna drag it, go to our timeline, and then let's move it in. Okay. Let's go back to our reference graphic. And notice how the first icon is on the left. And so I'm going to resize it. Drag the corner, hold shift. Let's put it like around there. Great, we got our first icon. Now let's add some text. Remember how to add the text layer? So click on the text tool at the top. Place it on the location near where you want it. Here we want it under the first icon, somewhere near it. Click it. You see a text layer shows now uh, on our timeline, and then you can start typing. On your right, you have your character panel. Uh, let's go back to default. All right, if you ever come across that, you can go to your workspace and then reset to save layout. On your right, you have your character panel showing the properties. You can change the color, you can change the font, and a few others. 
Okay, you can also resize it too. To show more. Okay, you can change the color here if you want. Here, I just used the color uh, from our icon using the eyedropper tool. To exit the text layer, you can just click on the selection tool on the top. And then it would exit. From your selection tool, let's move it to the desired position. Let's move it somewhere here. Let's go back and change our text. All right, let's go back to our script and read. Um, here it says first is to revise your resume so that your keyword reflects the keyword you use in instructional design. We're not going to put the entire sentence there. We're going to pull in the key phrase, which is revise your resume. So in After Effects, you can double click on the text layer and we can put revise your resume. Now let's adjust the timing so that the icon and text show up where we want to. Click on the text layer in our timeline and drag it next to the icon layer, the resume PNG. And to make it exactly in the same spot, you can hold shift to snap it to the layer to be exactly in the same timestamp as the icon layer. All right, let's preview. All right, showing up at the same time. Next, we want to add animations. But I just realized that our animation composer plugin is not showing on our workspace. To open this back up, we go to window and find animation composer. All right, it's going to pop up here. You can actually drag it to and snap it like that if you want to. Not necessary though. All right, so we're going to go to starter presets, transition 2D layer, and then from here, find something that you like. All right, there's lots of different animations. Let's check the exit animation to see something relatable to what we have when we have the exit animation. See how this one's exiting down, rotating, and exiting down. Maybe we could have something that's rotating down from the top. We can do, yeah, something like that. Click the drop down, and then we could have it rotating from, make sure your layer is selected. Here, we're gonna animate the resume PNG layer. Click animate in, and let's check it out. Drag it, scrub it, and it's coming down. Let's also add in the entrance animation for the text layer. This time, let's try a different animation. Let's go to transitions, or go back to starter presets. Go to transitions, text layer. Here, um, let's try animate characters. Look at all these different types of animations that you can include. Let's try this one, the overshoot position and rotate and scale. Okay, we could have it from the top or we could have it show up from the bottom. Let's have it show up from the bottom. Make sure your text layer is selected and then let's do animate in. Okay, automatically it has all of these properties that show up and that was inserted into this layer. We don't really need to worry about that. You can Click on the drop down arrow to simplify it or shrink it or collapse it. Let's preview. All right. Now, if you want to do a real time preview, you use our work area. You can move this around and then go to the preview panel and click preview or click number zero. First is to revise your resume so that your keywords reflect the keywords used in instructional design items that you can do right now. First is to revise your resume so that your keywords reflect the keywords used in instructional design. Great, it animated in properly. It actually synced in time with the voiceover and we got our first part of our infographic. I take that back. If you listen to the rest of the VO, you notice that there are more information related to the first topic. 
There we go. Let's listen. Design. For example, words like subject matter expert, e-learning, and even LMS. All right. So <clears throat> it says words like subject matter expert, e-learning, and LMS. What we want to do is add the text layers to all those items. And let's go ahead and do that. We're going to... Um, let's go back to project. We're going to add a text layer below the revise your resume. Um, but instead of using the text layer and inserting a brand new text, what we can also do is, let's delete it. What we can also do is duplicate this current text layer since we already have the formatting and just duplicate it. The one way you can duplicate it is by doing a clicking control D. See how it duplicated it on the text layer? Okay, you can also duplicate it by going to edit and clicking on duplicate. So we, oh, control Z. We duplicated the layer. Let's go and bring it down and change the text. We change it to, for example, words like subject matter expert. We put subject matter expert. All right. We probably want to have the text size be a little smaller than the heading size because revise your resume is the main subtopic and then you have these other smaller items. So what we can do is change the text maybe to 40. Okay, that works. That's a little too small, maybe 45. All right, subject matter expert. Now we can also duplicate this new formatted text layer by doing control D or going to edit, clicking duplicate, bringing it down, subject matter expert. Then we have e-learning, e-learning. Okay, let's also duplicate another one, control D or going to edit, duplicate, Bringing it down, double click on the layer to change the text. Let's change it to even LMS, just LMS. Now we want it to be in sync with the VO. All right. Let's preview the slide and find the proper timing. Okay, go to preview or click zero. Do right now. First is to revise your resume so that your keywords reflect the keywords used in instructional design. For example, words like subject matter. Ex All right, I just heard subject matter expert somewhere around here. We can create markers. Uh, one way to create markers is by clicking on the star symbol on the number pad. So if you click the star symbol on the number pad, you will create a marker. Instructional design. For example, words like subject matter expert, e-learning, and even LMS. Okay, so we created a marker where it says subject matter expert. Let's find the timing for the other ones as well. Instructional design. For example, words like subject matter expert, e-learning, and even LMS. Second okay, so between here and here are all three of our words. The subject matter expert will come in here. So we're gonna click on the subject matter expert layer, click and drag and move it to, if we place it here, then there might be a slight delay because it's already saying subject matter expert. So let's drag it over a little bit and we can always preview and double check. Okay, come here. We want the e-learning part to show up. Drag it. Okay, maybe here. Then LMS, 
Drag the LMS text layer. Move it over. Okay, and let's preview. Let's shorten our work area so that we don't have to listen to the parts that we don't want. All words like subject matter expert, e-learning, and even LMS. Second. All right, perfect. So they all appear properly and in sync with the voiceover.